EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Washington football team and the London Black Knights. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. First down gets him a couple up to the 27. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. This is McCaffrey. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. Seven yards. And it's third down. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. They'll give him a yard on the play, and it'll give him a fresh set of downs. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. So after the sack, here, second and 14. Dump off here complete. It's a gain of five on the play. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. Charles, Thursday night game. I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. And you know what else you're looking for? It's a In a heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, it was third down defensively. They were just hoping to make a play and get off the field, get their offense on. Instead, they did one better. Pick it off, take it into the end zone. Well, they did what you said. They got they off did the get field. Off. They're going to have to come right back on. They're going to come right back on, but happily, right? They put the ball in the end zone. That's the way you start a game. That's the way you set the tone. Mitch Wisnowski set to kick off. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal four and taken. Washington takes over first and ten. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay. left. We're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team, and that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs, so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. He was looking for his tight end, Mike Kosicki, but it's going to be second down. Trouble and he's taken down. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him. And some secondary help here for the defense and the nickel on third and long. Now a 
shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Do what we and they will get this across midfield, but still well short of the first as he's dropped at the 46. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. Mayfield. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. 46-yard line. He's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. But you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Casey Hayward, and he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. And they told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. And don't think they were above all week long pointing out to their defense that the other defense is rated higher than them. You going to let that happen, guys? Is that how we're going to play? And they responded to the challenge. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. 56, Mike, 56, right there, right there, 56. Second and nine now. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. Danny Shelton. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now back to throw. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. On the play, it's now fourth down. Now Cody Parkey out to try the field goal. This from 54 yards away. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The first quarter with the score Black Knight seven, Washington nothing. Cody Parkey on for the field goal, a 54 yard attempt. And this won't get there, won't be on line either. It's no good, off to the right, and this score will stay right where it is. Charles, 54 yards, I'm surprised that came up short. I would agree with that one because normally, if he misses, it's accuracy, not length, because he has plenty of leg for that. But maybe it's like I hit my golf shot, you know? Maybe it's like my wedge, you know, when you chili dip and you hit the ground ahead of it, sometimes that'll shorten your distance as well. Second. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again, second and ten. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. 
throwing middle, but it's incomplete. But nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Juan Thornhill. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. They'll take over. So that now back-to-back -back drive CD that have ended with an interception. I don't know about you, but I'd call my quarterback, go over, put an arm around him, and say, hey, take a look at the scoreboard. We're playing with a lead. Let's be smarter about what we're doing out there. The tackle made there by Harrison Smith. Brings up second and ten at the 33-yard line. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end... Give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. Washington on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This time they face a third and two. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. A gain of 14. First down, Washington. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. Out of the gun now on third down. And yeah, that is incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Now Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on four. They'll look to throw. And they're going to try the screen. It's complete. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion. And defensively, pure frustration. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. The ball carrier. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. McCaffrey, and he'll fight his way down right around the 12. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. A four-receiver look here. Three out to the left, one to the right on second and eight. The 
This will be caught just inside the 10. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. They'll give him eight on the play, and that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7 nothing ball game. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. They give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky no gain on the play they'll go again from the three here on second and goal and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage it'll be a loss of a couple on the play so now third down coming up and now third and goal coming up the loss on second down that just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. Well, let's see where they turn on third and goal from the five. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. So you're a boxing guy. How do you score that on your boxing card? A very long drive, but three points. And I really want to do my boxing analyst voice right here, but I'm going to keep it normal for us, right? I call it a draw. That type of a drive has to feel good, right? You take it all the way downfield, you control the ball, control the clock. But they only got three points out of it. So defensively, it could have been worse, right? So I give it a draw. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Throwing Mayfield. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. That catch good for only a couple. Brings up second and eight. Looking to throw again on second down. Mayfield, quick slant to Brown. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Now Zane Gonzalez for the field goal try. From the right hash, it's a 38-yard attempt. Gonzalez's kick is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that. And we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board. First and 10 at their own 26-yard Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Brings up second and five. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. 
They'll throw now on the final play. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, as they say here in London, all to play for as we are back underway in the second half. Taking it about the one. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. First down and 10 at their own 29-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for it. And Mayfield again with the interception, his third. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. And he will bring this one back. It is a pick six for a Washington touchdown. Cody Parkey lining up for the extra Make it back-to-back -back weeks now with a pick six for him. He had one a week ago. Talk about being in the groove. And what are the odds of what we're seeing right here? You don't see it happen very often. Listen, if you get a pick six in a season, it's been a big year, let alone back-to-back -back weeks. I'll tell you this, I wouldn't play cards against this guy in the locker room. <laughs> Taking it about the one. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. First and 10 at their own 30-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Now this one complete on the slant route. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Mayfield now from the 50. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. Well, that wasn't exactly a work of art, was it? No, that wasn't a thing of beauty. That's just why I don't play in points per reception fantasy league. Is that, is that what they call it? Receiver PPR? still gets a point there. Yeah. No. And you went that far back. No boy. But well, I'll tell you what. I wish I had their defense on, uh, on my fantasy game. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. Third and long for Mayfield. And the throw there going to be incomplete. They went with the dive look that time on defense. Just flooded the field with defensive backs. Blanketed everyone. Took away all the passing angles. Thus, the incompletion. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. At their own 20-yard line. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. 
what do they have dialed up that will give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. He'll look to throw. Now a short one to Gesicki. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. McCaffrey following the penalty. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there. Second down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. That's a 37-yard line. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now a draw play to McCaffrey, and he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. That is inches from the upright. It's no good. Wide to the left, and we will remain tied here in this third quarter. Well, close game, second half. You obviously hate to leave three out on the field. Especially in a game like this when you know points are hard to come by. That was one of their best opportunities so far. And they come away with nothing. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. The 42-yard line. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe it'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. With the score all tied. On second and seven, Mayfield. The completion good. This is Eric Ebron. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. First and 10 at the 44 yard line. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And he hits his tight end, Ebron. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That's good. The 15 yards there on the catch and run. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I think it's pretty evident. We can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they've stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times. And, made... and this is going to be intercepted. 
picked off at the 18. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Both teams working on short rest, but this has been one of the better Thursday night games we've seen as they come up here on first and 10. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Now a throw here to his running back. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. to throw now on first down. He's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. Call it a pickup of seven, and that'll make it a second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Now a leaping catch, he's got it. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Pick up on the play. And the Washington first down. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and ten as they search for a go-ahead score. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he's got this down to the 35. Ten yards there, good for a Washington first down. Party, you got to like what they're doing right there. Little by little, they're getting closer. Another good pickup. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. It's second and eight. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. McCaffrey on the counter. Jordan Jenkins there on the tackle. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. All right, my man, this is now where it's risk-reward because on defense, you've got to crowd the line of scrimmage. You've got to get in all the gaps, get up tight on everyone, and try and force the field goal attempt here. You can't let them break one big, but you know something you crowd the line of scrimmage. If they do pop one, it's going to go. Yeah, as I said, could take it to the house, but the magnitude of this possible upcoming field goal, every yard counts. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. No gain on the play. It's now fourth down.
And we are set for a great finish as that timeout comes in with two seconds to go in this football game. So here's the former Pro Bowler, Cody Parkey, in field goal formation. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. So here's the former Pro Bowler, Cody Parkey, in field goal formation. Two seconds on the clock, this for the win. And his kick is good. A little bit of redemption after he missed two field goals earlier. And they will be all smiles in Georgetown tonight as Washington has won it. Well, a little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. So for Washington, the win moves them a couple games over 500 now at 7-5. and five. And now it's off to Heathrow as they get set to fly back to the U.S. in a couple hours. Meanwhile, for the home team here, they fall to 6-6 six and six now on the campaign. And they'll try to turn things around next week as they have a matchup in New Orleans against the Saints.